Here we have a really simple character that we want to bring into life with some motion capture data. Let's begin by downloading some mocap files. If you search for BVH files, you will find this site called CG Speed that has the famous Carnegie Mellon collection converted into BVH files. Let's go to the DAWs compatible version, which I've found works well also with Blender. Now we can select one of the collections here and download it. Then we can start extracting the zip file and install the make walk add-in in the meanwhile. Just search for Make Human and go to their downloads section in which you can find the Blender Tools package. Let's download and unzip that one as well. Then we'll simply copy the files and we want to paste them inside the add-in folder of Blender. You can find the settings folder of Blender in Windows by going to your C drive and selecting the correct user. Then you need to find the app data folder which is hidden by default so we need to show hidden files. Now we can navigate to the Blender Foundation folder and dig into the folder with the version number you are currently using. If that folder doesn't contain a scripts folder yet, you should create it manually. So just create a folder called scripts and go inside it. Then create one more folder called add-ons and paste your files into that folder. Let's go ahead and restart Blender. Now you should be able to go to the add-ons section of the user preferences, and find the add-on called make walk. Let's activate it and save. Now simply make sure you are in pose mode and go to the miscellaneous tab in your left side toolbar. You can change the frame range you want to load and then simply hit the load and retarget button. Select one of the BVH files and watch your character come into life. Make Walk does such a great job of retargeting your rig that it's almost like magic. Thanks for watching and see you next time on 1minutevideotutorials.com.